It's time now for the Premier Podcast, the official real estate video podcast of Premier Realty Group of West Tennessee. We have three offices to serve you in McKenzie, Paris, and Huntingdon. Online at prealtygroup.com. Now, let's get started with today's Premier Podcast. Welcome back to the Premier Podcast, the official video podcast of Premier Realty Group of Paris, McKenzie, and Huntington. Our special guest for this segment is Donna Ross. She is the mortgage banker with First Bank. Donna, how are you? I'm fantastic. How are you guys this morning? We're doing well. We've got a lot to talk about, including your brand new book. It's called Give Yourself Some Credit, available on Amazon. It is available on Amazon. Let's talk homes first before we get into the book. If people are looking for a home, where should they look first? Should they look for the home or look for the loan? They need to be pre-qualified before they begin shopping. They just need to know how much they can purchase and what those prices are going to be. It's all about credit score, isn't it? A lot has to do with their credit score. Yes, it does. If people aren't sure about their credit score, if they know they have shaky credit but they don't know that number, can you help them with that number? And what does that number need to be before they come through the door? We can help them with that number. Um, There are all kinds of programs that are out there. Um, You can start at a 600 credit score. Obviously, the higher the score, the better the interest rate, more loan programs are going to be qualified for. Right. I don't know a VA from a USDA, from a FHA, from an FBI to a CIA. Explain (laughs) some of the different loans available out there. Well, there's lots of myths out there that people have to have a 20% down payment before they can buy a home. Uh, The USDA loan is a 100% financing loan. You don't have to have any down payment with that program. Uh, The VA also will give you uh, 100% financing. There is Fannie Mae's Home Ready program, which is a conventional loan that now only requires 3% down. And the great news is there's grants out there that can help people with those down payments. Talk for a moment about a person who's about to purchase their first home. They're married, no kids yet, but kids in the future. What should they be doing to get ready for that? I'm guessing saving is the first thing to do. They need to first know where they're at with their credit score. They need to know what's on their credit report. Um, I would encourage anybody in the market for a new home to seek counsel from a qualified lender, know what you're dealing with, and then develop a plan with that lender. Gary? Uh, yeah, you're covering all the bases right now. That's a good job. I was just sitting here amazed listening to you guys go at it. Oh, you know, we uh, basically, you've covered what we normally do when somebody walks in the door. Typically, the person who comes in our door looking to buy a house, you know, they'll call or they'll send us a, a, an email on something and they'll say, you know, I've seen this house. It's $200,000 and that's exactly what I'm looking for. And, you know, I can know I can fit it in my budget, but you know, they come in and they've not talked to a, a lender. So the first thing that we want to do is make sure they get over to the lender. Uh, I guess, you know, from my point of view, uh, talk a little bit about that process once they leave us and, and call you. The first thing we're going to do is get some background information from the borrower. Uh, we're going to need to know their occupation. We're going to need to know their residency history, um, how much income they're earning, and how much debt they have. Um, there are very strict guidelines in regards to debt to income ratios. Now, some of those pro- programs will have more lead way with them than others. Um, what these programs are designed to do is to make sure that we are putting a borrower in a home that's going to be a blessing and not a burden to them. Um, if all you can do is make the house payment and there's no money to go out to eat, there's no money for new shoes for the baby when it needs them, that house is not a blessing. Yeah. Mistakes can be made after you're approved for the loan. For example, if I get approved for a loan, I'm thinking, I'm home free now. I can't wait to move into this house. I'm going to the furniture store, and I'm going to buy $8,000 worth of furniture. That's not a good idea, is it? I actually had that happen to a, a friend of mine uh, when I was uh, training uh, back when I first got in in Jackson. Uh, the trainer had talked through a scenario similar to that, and, and my friend came in for lunch, and he said, what y'all do today? And I kind of told him that scenario, and he, he kind of dropped his head and said, That was actually me that had done that. He had uh, actually been qualified for the loan, gone out and purchased a house full of furniture, and when they went back and checked the credit score, of course, his his numbers had dropped. So talk about do's and don'ts after the loan is approved. Do's and don'ts. Um, When you have that initial meeting with your lender, the lender is going to go through and they're going to qualify you based on the income and the debts that are reported as of that day. 
Um, it's not only going shopping that you don't need to do. Um, if you're standing at Macy's and they're giving you 10% off, that cashier is pulling your credit score. Um, if you want to go car shopping and they pull your credit 16 times, your credit score is going to suffer. And the bad part about that is, is the only thing that can repair that is time. Because once an inquiry hits that credit, it's there for 120 days. And so in the book, I talk about a gentleman. Uh, we had him pre-qualified. And I tell all of my people, don't run up your credit cards. Don't pay down big debt. That's a thing that people think is kind of strange. But if you pay down lots of debt, they're going to want to know where the money come from to pay all that debt down. Mm -hmm. So it provides more milestones in the process. Uh, in the book, I talk about a gentleman. We had him pre-qualified. -pre he found his home. We were in the process. And I tell them all, don't go shopping. Don't pull your credit. Because the last thing the lender does right before that loan is closed is a soft pull on the credit. But I want a new couch. Well, you're going to have to wait. <laughs> <laughs> and so when that lender pulls that soft pull right before that file closes, they compare the initial report to what's on the credit at that point. And part of that is built into the mortgage laws. We as lenders have to prove the borrower's ability to repay that note. And so if that situation has changed from the beginning to the time we close, the whole train stops mm -hmm. and we have to get more documentation from them. Gotcha. Say you have somebody come in that has a credit score that's below 600 or even 580 for that matter. Uh, what are the steps that you take to get them, get their credit built back up to where they can qualify? There is so much wrong information passed to borrowers. Um, I have a customer right now that we're working with that has been dealing with four months of bad advice. Um, you have to have a systematic process when it goes to cleaning the credit. It's not rocket science. Guys, it's not rocket science. But it has to be done very strategically and very um, methodically. And so if we have a borrower that has below average credit, um, what I often hear from these people is they never even called me back. Somebody else won't even call me back. Uh, we will sit down with them and we will develop a plan with them. Collections, late payments, judgments, not enough credit. Those are the big milestones that we see people have to overcome to reach home ownership. The book is called Give Yourself Some Credit. Donna Ross is a mortgage banker with First Bank. The book is subtitled Proven Strategies for a More Abundant Life Through Confidence in Yourself and Your Credit Score. You really break it down on percentages in the book. And it's a very simple read. I think it's about 10 bucks on Amazon. It'll take you maybe an hour or less to read it. But it's really broken down, especially for a first-time home buyer. This would be a must-read, wouldn't it? I would hope that everyone would read it. Yeah. Um, what we have tried to do is simplify this process. I believe that everybody that has a desire to own a home should have that opportunity to do that. And they should have good counsel, good teams, good information. You know, guys, home ownership, it builds our communities. It strengthens our school systems. It gives us better parks, better infrastructure but it does something else. It changes the family financial tree for that borrower. If you've got a single mom working two jobs trying to pay rent, if we can put that person into a home, we've not only changed her family tree, we've given her confidence. We've given her a more abundant life. That, in turn, is projected to her child, who then has a more confident life. Um, we're passionate about people. We've been doing this for almost 20 years. We've helped hundreds of people do this. And it's a very systematic process. You have to have people that are as passionate about your dream as they are about theirs. Mm -hmm. Best way to get in touch with you. How can folks reach Donna Ross at First Bank? Uh, they can reach me by email, dross at firstbankonline.com. It's pretty long. Spell the first bank out. It's not S F, you know, first, it's F I R S T. Right. Um, you can reach us at the office, 968 3928. Um, 
cell phone, 4310373. Well, not to get too far off in the weeds, Donna, but uh, talk about the different types of loans that are avail available, the, the government-backed loans, the uh, products that y'all may have, home equity, those types of things. There are lots of loans um, that can assist people. Um, Madison County right now has the Tennessee Housing Development Authority, THDA, $15,000 grant. That grant is applicable to any property in Madison County. $15,000 goes a long way, guys. Right. Um, we've got the VA loans, which are 100%. We have USDA, and we have FHA. That $15,000 grant can be wrapped with those programs. Um, there are lots of myths out there that you have to have that 20% down payment. You don't have to have that 20% down payment. Um, on a home equity loan uh, line of credit there, uh, I actually had uh, clients a couple of years ago who came in. They had a house that they were living in, wanted to move into the Paris area. That house was paid for, so their transaction didn't require a conventional loan or even any of the government-type loans. Uh, they used their home equity. Uh, talk about that. Absolutely. When you look at real estate, um, real estate from a balance sheet standpoint, you've got assets and liabilities, assets being the good stuff and liabilities being the debts. And so if you've got property that's paid for, and perhaps this person was going to be putting this house on the market and selling after they got moved, uh, we can access the equity in that home and they can utilize that money as a down payment for their new home and then when this older home sells they can go back and pay that off home equity lines of credit um, typically will go up to 85 sometimes 90 percent of the home's value 85 i think is the standard that's the benchmark um, and so you've got lots of people out there with um, sitting on lots of cash in their homes All right Buying a home is a big, scary purchase, but it doesn't necessarily have to be that intimidating, does it? No. Buying a home should be... It should be a, fun. It, it should, should be, be a fun and a, exciting time. A dream come time. true. That's right. Yeah. It's a, we, we, our, we get to explore and have fun every day watching people walk through the front door of something that they didn't think they could do. Um, it's magical, mm -hmm. you know? It's, it's, um, it's wonderful. We're very blessed to be able to touch the families that we do. Absolutely. Donna Ross is a mortgage banker with First Bank. Again, best way to get in touch with you. Best way to get in touch with me, um, email dross at firstbankonline.com. Uh, the direct office line is 968-3928, and the mobile is 431-0373. And the book is called Give Yourself Some Credit, Proven Strategies for a More Abundant Life Through Confidence in Yourself and Your Credit Score. Donna Ross, thanks for being a part of the podcast today. Hey, guys, thank you so much. Thanks for allowing us to be a part of the start. You got it.